Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Over time, as animals evolve, certain body parts may become degenerate or useless. For example, did you know that whales actually have hind leg bones? These now useless body parts that once had a purpose are called vestigial structures. And believe it or not, you humans have them too. Probably one of the most well-known and hated vestigial structures in humans is wisdom teeth. You know those things that show up and ruin years and years worth of braces? I'm not mad, I'm just saying. They used to be helpful back in the day when the human died it was more coarse and caused humans to lose a lot of teeth. But with modern processed food, that normally doesn't happen, and wisdom teeth end up becoming more of a nuisance than helpful. So typically they're removed from the mouth to prevent any unnecessary pain, and you get the awesome bonus of being loopy and looking like a chipmunk. Another vestigial structure that humans like to remove is the appendix. This is a small pouch attached to the large intestine where it meets the small intestine. Your primate ancestors used it to digest cellulose-rich plants like leaves. Nowadays, the appendix is thought to contain helpful bacteria that can aid in digestion, but mostly now its main function seems to be filling doctors' wallets from all the appendectomies they have to perform. Here's a fun fact, did you know that as babies form inside the womb, they momentarily have a tail? It's true, your tailbone or coccyx, which is located at the end of your spine, sticks out and forms a mini tail. This normally gets absorbed, but this addition to the human skeleton shows that your early ancestors once had tails. These eventually became useless throughout the course of human evolution. Next up is the male nipple. I'm sorry men, but you don't really need to have those. You can keep them if you want. This part of the male body isn't something that's stuck around after some evolutionary event, but rather it's there because of how fetuses develop in the womb. Simply put, all fetuses begin life as female and therefore form nipples. Bet you didn't think we were going to talk about this one, huh? But if a Y chromosome is present, the fetus will produce testosterone and develop into a biological male. I was born with no nipples, so to be honest, I have no idea what the heck I am. Lastly, and quite possibly the coolest vestigial structure in humans, your third eyelid. Look in the mirror and find that little flap of tissue in the inner corner corner of your eye. That, my friends, is your Plica semilunaris, which is the remaining remnant of a nictitating membrane. Some birds, reptiles, and amphibians have these and are used to moisten the eye and clear it of any debris. These body parts might be useless, but there are some body parts that you simply cannot live without. It beats around 100,000 times a day. That's more than 2.5 billion times in the average lifetime. This is the heart in numbers. Check out this video from our friends at All Time Numbers. There's also a link in the description if you're on mobile. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.